What's up, Jake Vasquez? Shooting. I just wanted to show the project in the deck. We're gonna, me and Alan, gonna shoot some uh, footage, shoot some lines on some benchmarks. Um, so what we did was this new deck is coming right over this existing slab. So we're building right over this existing slab. So we cut the deck back about a foot. And there's our beam pockets there. You can see there. So we cut it back about, I don't know, six inches or a foot. All the way around the whole deck. So new beams sitting right there those pockets ledgers going right there and we cut the uh, deck back about a foot all the way around we also cut down there so we can get our ledger because we're getting a 2 by 10 ledger so have to come down have to come down 2 by 10 to the bottom of that it's gonna put us right at nine and a half inches there. So I had to dig this down. There's my finish line there. Top of ledger is gonna be right, right here. So we're gonna shoot elevations with the new, uh, my new laser. I want to get a plug for Dewalt. See if they'll sponsor me so I could be a influencer. The so laser, this new laser is a DW074LR 20 volt max cordless lithium ion red rotary laser is what it is. So let's check this thing out just got it like not too long ago one thing that I wanted to mention is when you set up the transit you really have to make sure you step down on these feet here all the way down into the ground because the laser the laser is self leveling but if it moves just a little bit it will stop the pulse will stop pulsing so what I do is I set up a torpedo level and I get it perfectly level all the way around. See that? Perfectly level. And I stab the feet all the way down in so that way it's it's not sensitive. You don't you want to be able to like push it and you don't want it to move. So anyways, um, I was shooting vertical lines on another project in Bonzal. Here, can you hold this for me? Yeah. Just touch it to make sure it don't go off. So what you do is you just move this clip to the bottom. Boom. Then you take this off. This just screws off. This allows you to put a smaller laser, quarter inch one. And this is 5.8. So you do is I need the battery oh you got the battery yeah. Ellen's on it put the battery on and you just screw this on just like that nice and tight turn it on back here Show them where the power button is. Power button. And it starts spinning all by itself. It's self leveling. So it's really cool. It shoots, this thing shoots within 1500 feet. So it's super baller. I can have a, a guy in a 12 foot hole and I can get the, the elevation right down to the millimeter. right here 
show you how this works. This basically I take my battery out because if you don't the battery keeps running believe it or not. So I always take it out. Put the battery in. do is this is a really cool feature that I like about it is it's like spring load and it allows you to get it tight so that way you're not just cranking for days Okay, so we got our ledger all ready to go. And what I did was before I set the ledger, I uh, had Ellen pull the layout. So we got 16 on center. See the layout? X marks the spot all the way down. So I already got layout on the whole ledger. Now we're gonna set it. this up so you can see how we set it here real quick. Okay. We're gonna shoot concrete pins in, in the block wall foundation or the stem wall first. And we're gonna come back and drill lags in it after the fact. They got my gun, Colt 45, ready to go. I'm gonna shoot some 22 bullets into this thing. Alright, so Throw it up. Make sure it's flush right underneath that plywood, Alan. Are you right where you need to be? Uh, yep. Looking like it could come to me a little bit. Maybe a quarter inch. I'm right on the line. You're right on the line? Yeah. Okay. Check it for level here real quick. Perfect. Right in the 16th. I'm gonna get another nail right here. I know I'm good. And boom. Let go. Basically I wanted to explain something that feels super necessary. And you're figuring out your height elevations. So this here is the detail here, number five. You see we got uh, to the bottom of the CB66, the top of the concrete is eight inches. And then from there down, you have another foot here. So you got a eight inch pillar and then it branches out to one foot one foot deep by two foot and the footing itself is actually two foot by two foot so I guess the question is how do you figure out your elevation height right there number A two foot square by 18 deep. So I got an 18 inch deep. So what's the quickest way to figure out your elevation high? That's what I'm gonna show you here real quick. Easiest way to figure it out with your CB here and then your bottom of concrete jogging down eight inches. 
and then jogging down another foot. So, boys, gonna show you here, style you out real quick. It's the easiest way to do it here. This is called a measuring stick. So basically, this is your six by six post. And there's your eight inches of concrete here. Eight inches of concrete. And there's your 12 inches of concrete to the bottom of your footing. So all you do is draw it all out. And this is called, it's called a measuring stick. And I do it every time I do elevations. It's the easiest way. So my saddle sits here. Bottom of concrete comes right here. There's my eight inches and there's my 12 inches. So now all I do is I take my stick, put it in the hole, and then I just get my measuring rod. Beep, 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 beep. When it hits right here, this right here, this line right here represents top of ledger all the way back there same elevation here so I set my batter boards my batter boards in this pink line are already set all at the same elevation height so that's how you figure that out and that's the easiest way to do it trust me guys trust me I'm styling you out right now hooking you up ask me questions I got answers you got questions I got answers all right, this is the progress. Hopefully we're taking tomorrow off because it's a holiday. But um, this is what it's looking like so far. We got the bean pocket set and uh, we're almost ready to cut the rest of that roof open and start in the cow fill after we get an inspection on these footings. All right. Peace out, peace out.